just one thing I noticed in the HTB base class, if you can go higher for a second, like another thing that you can do here to simplify your design on, on line 15, you're using the API URL through an info. Yes. Class, yes. Which, which this is a component in the models module, right? So mm -hmm. here you're importing the models. So this is a modular dependency, right? Mm -hmm. For the HTTP base to the models, just to uh, request the API URL, which this can easily be, you can use dependency injection here, for example, you know, and just pass the URL that you want instead of implicitly reference the info component, mm -hmm. right? And then boom, it's, you don't have any dependencies in any other modules. And this is the way it should be because again, the HTTP base is an infrastructure type of component, which means it's low level, right? Models now, on the other hand, is like it's higher level. You can use the same base here, but with different base URLs, right? API URLs, just by injecting a different value. Because let's say you want to use the same base, but you want to provide a different URL mm -hmm. to it. How are we going to do it if it's global like this, accessing the URL directly? You need to add some kind of flags here. If mm -hmm. environment dot something, use this one, else use the other one. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you need to add this logic inside the component rather than just injecting a different URL. You don't need this. Mm -hmm. But look, we make this change here. But if this class was inheriting from it, we would have to also update here to also get a URL, right? Yes. Be able to pass the super initializer. Mm -hmm. and, but by using composition rather, we are able to make this change without breaking existing code. I see. Because this is also a dependency. The configuration API doesn't need to create its own dependency. Mm -hmm. It receives it. Yeah. Hey, I can only be instantiated with an HTTP client. Mm -hmm. The client can only be created with a URL. If you want, and it's, you can have a default URL here. But usually you don't want that because this is just a generic way of making requests, right? Mm -hmm. HTTP requests. It shouldn't depend on models. It shouldn't depend on any specific URL. It can work for any URL. It has nothing specific about that URL, right? Yes. Or that should be the idea, <laughs> you know, that it can work for any URL. Mm -hmm. So you can make changes to this base now without affecting the API. You know, you can change the initializer. You can add have subtypes of the HTTP client base without affecting the API. Okay. And that's the benefit of composition here. Yeah. Plus the benefit of decoupling from specific hard coded values, because otherwise you need to add globals and maybe compiler flags like if client A use a URL, otherwise use another URL. Mm -hmm. And then you define all the composition in the composition root.